The Butcher is back. How come when The Butcher goes on tour with his band, whoever they may be, um, he can't wrestle, but Fozzie can operate. We can't get rid of Jericho. What do you think the difference is? Because certainly to God, whatever band this The Butcher is in can't be more well-known than Fozzie. No, but I think The Butcher probably has, uh, I don't know, dignity? <laughs> or maybe just a necessity to go and do his day job. Yeah. Uh, but we had The Butcher and The Blade back together after long last with The Bunny and Matt Hardy in their corner against the tag team of Pockets and Tomohiro Ishii. You were so close. You almost had it exactly right. And they had Rocky Romero and the rest of the Puddin' Gang in their <laughs> corner. Oh, it was, Ch it was Chuckle Fuck Taylor and Chris Flatlander and Wheeler UD and the Puddin' Gang. So... Did they have to play pay, play? Did they have to pay for the Japanese fellow's plane ticket all the way over here and they stick him in partners with pockets? So I they, uh, let me just jump in before you say anything else, because I know you don't really follow modern Japanese wrestling. But a few years ago, when I started really watching a lot of stuff again, Tomohiro Ishii became one of my favorite guys there. There's a match he had with Shinsuke Nakamura on the same show with the match of the year, AJ Styles versus Suzuki. The better match on that show is Tomohiro Ishii versus Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. He's a smaller guy. He's uh -huh. stiff. He works hard. They put him in the stupidest possible situation if you're going to have this guy on your TV show to the point where if you've never seen this guy before, uh -huh. I don't think he looked that impressive. And, uh -huh. if you, and if, even if you have seen him before, like, let's say me, uh -huh. why the fuck is this the match they put him in? <laughs> so before you rip on anything, let me just say, I've been a fan of his. I think he's great. I think they're out of their fucking minds for using him like this. I'll ask you a question. Did this match suck pond water? To me, it did. Yeah. Okay. They followed the best 30-something minutes of television they've ever done with bad comedy and outlaw talent. And Tomohiro Ishii looks like Killer Khan if he was five foot two. <laughs> he made Tojo Yamamoto look like he could play in the NBA. Oh, come on. <laughs> is, I'm wondering, is Tomohiro Ishii, is he really Uno without the mask and the bodysuit? Oh, stop it. Now you're being crazy. Come on. He's a very talented professional wrestler. Well, this match started with Pockets rolling around with his hands in his pockets, playing pocket pool as he normally does, and then... Tojo got in. I'm sorry, it's not Tojo Yamamoto. It's Tomohiro Ishii. He got in and, and did whatever the fuck he did, and I started fast-forwarding, and it seemed to go forever on speed search. And that's what I was, every time that I would stop and look at something that he or any else, uh, anybody else was doing, it looked rotten. What happened? I don't care. Defend it to me, if you will. Anything. I'm not going to defend it to you. Positive. I'm not going to defend it to you. A complete waste of Tomohiro Ishii. And again, I don't Ishii. expect him to have the matches here that he had in New Japan, but put him in there with a capable opponent and let him do something. I thought he looked awful to anyone who's never seen him before. I'm forgiving because I've seen him before. How, how come it is all these people that you've seen before that you think are great and then when I watch them, they suck shit. And then you say, well, that, that, you're right. That did suck shit, but they used to be good. Look, it sucks shit. He was teaming with Orange Cassidy against the Matt Hardy tag team. I'm not going to blame Ishii out of all the problems in that match. I, di I didn't see Tomo him Ishii there. is the least. I didn't see him out there looking like fucking Tiger Mask or goddamn Fujinami or anybody. There were certain people on that Even roster. Kuniaki Kobayashi. I like Kobayashi. Actually, I think Kobayashi, Kobayashi Tiger Mask is almost as good as some of those Dynamite Kid matches if people really want to evaluate it on just the quality of the match. Not and, the nobody, and does anybody today even recognize Kobayashi? Kuniaki Kobayashi, folks. Like Brian said, it was almost as good as Tiger Mask and Dynamite Kid. Kid Kobe. He was a badass. Nobody says anything about him anymore. You're, you're taking up for Tomohiro Ishii. 
I am, and Kuniaki Kobayashi. But what I was going to say is, look, I get Orange Cassidy. Tony likes him. He moves merch. He's their mascot. You know what? I can forgive him because he's their mascot. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I've seen the entire act. and I didn't like it the first time I saw it, let alone the replay performances. But I understand why he's there. No one can justify Matt Hardy and his group having any national TV time to me. If someone's going to go, oh, but the rating was up. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of them. I don't know if it's because of them. But when I see them, it's a bathroom break. And the thing that pissed me off the most was I wanted to see Ishii. I didn't realize it was going to be garbage. I should have. But I didn't go to the bathroom. This should have been the bathroom break spot. It should have been a five-minute match in between all you the You missed your shit. piss. I missed my piss. There were other opportunities. But this should have been... The buffer between the first batch of good shit and the second batch of good shit, but this went on way too long and I hated it. Wouldn't you know who lost the piss? <laughs> Brian Last. Brian Last lost the piss. Take my bathroom breaks by putting New Japan Legends in there with fucking take, joke wrestlers. Take, what the fuck? Take my dick, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, but Brian, but the point is, what do you think the odds are that the next time you say, oh, so and so is so good, you got to watch them? And I do watch them that they're, what do you think the odds are that they're going to suck just like every other time? Oh, uh, you're asking me this in a rough week. I, the odds are pretty good, I think. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, if you want to beat the odds, you got to go to our friends at Stat Hero. I'll just slide this in right here while we have a chance. While some of you still have some money out there and you want something to do with it, I'll show you how to make some more of it. Go to Stat Hero because nobody plays daily fantasy sports to lose. Because winning feels so much better. But these traditional fantasy sports people, wearing raincoats in darkened theaters, in shady parts of town, the traditional fantasy sports, that type of neighborhood, they're a long-term losing proposition because you never know who or what you're up against or who they've been with or what they might have. So therefore, you want to stay away from them. You want to go to a clean place with honest people. Like Stat Hero, the first of its kind daily fantasy sports platform where it's you versus the house in head to head fantasy matchups with the winner to take all. No more fantasies in those raincoats and those darkened theaters. Now you're going to bring your fantasies right out in the daylight <laughs> where we can all see them. And here's the crazy part <laughs> Stat Hero will show you theirs before you show them yours. How did this take a turn like this? They what? They literally will show you theirs before you show them yours. Does everything have to be vulgar? That's my question to you, Mr. Jim Cornette. Many, pe many people say yes. Stat Hero <laughs> will show you their lineup <laughs> before you play, and you handpick the team that you want to face one-on-one. -on -one. So once you're handpicked, you're in there, and you're, 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 you're farting through silk. It's a never-before-seen innovation of a fantasy sports and sports betting hybrid that has stat hero players clocking odds that are over four times better. Better than what you say, it doesn't say. But better is good, and positive is always good, too, except when you're the Iron Sheik. Four times better. Why? That's what I'd like to know, because you don't have to compete against thousands <laughs> of experts or unknowns. Stat hero puts you in control of your fate. It's what daily fantasies should be, one-on-one. -on -one. Although we've mentioned, if you have fantasies where it's four-on-one, five-on-one, even 20-on-one, -on who are we to judge? Folks, right now, you can sign up for free at stathero.com, S-T-A-T-H-E-R-O, stathero.com slash J-C-E. Use the promo code J-C-E for a 100% deposit match. The way I understand this is you put some money in and then they match it 100%. So it's like doubling your money and you have twice as much money as you used to have until you lose it all. And then you've no. lost all your money plus their money. So fuck, I bet they're, they're probably going to be pissed. If you lose your money, it's one thing. But if you lose their money, they're going to come find you. The goal is to win and well, win lots of thing. money. Well, that's the you better, thing. You better watch your P's and Q's, people, and win this money. Because if they're going to just hand you money like that, you better win it or elsewise they're going to come find you. Anyway, stathero.com slash JCE. Use the promo code JCE 
for a 100% match. Terms and conditions apply. I don't know what they are, but they're probably very strict.